السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان مائی لاسٹ ویڈیو ویڈیو نمبر فور ہنڈریڈ سکسٹی سیون وین آئی ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ ٹو ٹیسٹ فیس اینگل وتھ ڈی ایس او ڈیجیٹل اسٹوریج اسلوسکوپ بیکاز ڈیجیٹل اسٹوریج اسلوسکوپس ہیو کرسر فنکشن وی کین الائن کرسر ٹو ون ون آف دا ویو شیپ اینڈ امیجیٹلی وی کین فائنڈ واٹ از دا فیس اینگل آف سیکنڈ ویو شیپ اف وی ہیو سی آر او کیتھوڈ رے اسلوسکوپ ٹیک فور ایٹ فائیو اور ایچ پی اسلوسکوپس دیٹ دیٹ وار اینالاگ ہاؤ وی کین فائنڈ فیس اینگل بٹوین ٹو سگنلس آن دیٹ اسکوپس ون آف مائی ویور ہی سینڈ میسج آئی ایم تھینک فل فار ہز ویریبل کامنٹ ہی سیڈ آئی بلیو دیٹ یور کمیونیکیشن وڈ بی کلیئر بائی ڈرائنگ ود ڈفرینٹ کلر پینس آن پیپر اوکے آئی ول ڈرا اٹ آ سنگل complete wave for each of two signals right for each example of their offsets using continu- continuous signal traces oscilloscope makes too much confusion okay no problem i will suggest how to determine beginning and ending point of each wave in any oscilloscope there is no start no end to display because it have a sweep circuit which continuously triggers and there is a sample and hold circuit which continuously monitors what is the signal in the b and c connector that is input signal it makes sampling and displays on the display so there is no limitation for any signal from where that is starting where that is ending and there is a offset we can set channel a in upside channel b at downside or channel signal b at upside signal a at downside connect b and c connector align the signal display the signal properly because in time part we are setting in the time sweep this signal makes a same trigger for channel 1 and channel 2 so starting edge for both signals will be the same we can say this signal is starting from here this signal is starting from here so oscilloscope does not make any difference between the signals because time part of vn setting it makes a same trigger for both channels so it will display immediately what is on the test connectors bnc connectors at input signal So when the sweep will start from here and it will reach here what was the signal on the bnc connector at that time it will be displayed here when it will finish here so it have to repeat back from here it have to loop back first of all we have to know the controls of a cro cathode ray oscilloscope or analog oscilloscope analog oscilloscope have vertical position and the second is horizontal position this vertical position will move these wave shape up or down and then we have horizontal position vertical position we have two knobs vertical position we have two knobs horizontal position we have one knob vertical position there is a separate knob for channel a and separate knob for channel b when we will move vertical position channel a knob it will move this channel a wave form up or down and vertical position b will move the wave form of channel b our this vertical position knob will move the wave shape up or down here in this grid this knob will move the signal at channel 2 or channel b in this area we can move channel a b to upside or channel a to downside or channel a to upside channel b to downside wherever we want or we can overlap the signals but this position signal horizontal position signal will move all the wave shape for channel a and channel b left or right 
then we have delayed time function position now we will discuss these three controls channel a position it will move this wave shape in this plot in this grid wherever we want we can adjust with this vertical position if we applied signal a to channel a then channel a vertical position knob will adjust this signal and we can give offset to display at any position if we applied signal at channel 2 so channel 2 vertical position will use to adjust this wave shape in this grid area then we have horizontal position this will adjust all the wave shape it will move all the wave shape right or left both wave shapes will move together with one knob then there is a delay time position so delay time position is to start to trigger this signal from where we want to start on the screen if we want to trigger from this point if we want to trigger from this point we can use this delay time position it is not uh, normally used delay time position just we use vertical position and horizontal position now the second subject how we can determine the phase difference between these two signals initially we have to know that we can find phase angle between two signals with same frequency if we have this 50 hertz and this one is 60 hertz then there is no phase difference this is separate signal this is separate signal but if this is 50 hertz and this is 50 hertz we can find phase difference between these two signals how we can know the frequency we can find the wave shape from where one and starting here and reaching up to here so this signal is covering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. It is covering 10 grids, 10, 10 graticules to complete one cycle. But if we see here, from this point to this point, it is covering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7.25. So this signal is completing its 360 degree rotation in less period. It is taking more time it is taking less time so these have different time period so different time period different frequency we can say this is separate signal and this is separate signal how we can analyze our wave shape we have to set the wave shape in such position that it should touch minimum lower peak or upper peak in any one line suppose we, we touch here start from here counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this wave shape is covering in 8 graticules 8 squares so we have to set it to center 1 2 3 4 so this is the center line we have to align this wave shape so that if it is covering four grids, four squares in upper portion, it must cover four squares in lower portion. So positive peak and negative peak must be in the same amplitude. So this line is will be called zero line. It is zero line for phase A. Similarly, we have to adjust the channel B. So channel B is wave shape here. We have to set same align to any one line here or upside 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we will align the vertical position for channel B to make it center to with some reference line so after 1 2 3 4 here we have center line if this signal is covering in 7 for example this signal is covering in 7 squares so we will align three and half squares upside three and half squares in bottom side so that the signal must be in the center now we have to take one reference signal what is that we will 
start from this zero line and we will check from which point this signal is rising to upward to positive peak from zero line this is zero line if we see from this point it is starting to upside so it is 90 degree here 180 degree here 270 degree it is negative peak then it will reach here at 0 degree or 360 degree 0 or 360 degree so we will select this point as a reference now this is our second point this cycle started from here completed its complete 360 rotation and it reached here now it is starting another cycle we can make this reference point now this is our zero line in amplitude here this is our zero line on the display we will check this line and we will align it to the second signal center line this signal started from here from this point to upward and we took reference this signal this point now align to this line where which is the center of this signal this line now we will check what is the signal position of that second signal this is starting from zero if we check this signal this signal started from here now we, we can check the signal position it started from here and traveled up to 90 degree after that it will start to decrease now we can say channel B is reaching 90 degree before channel A so it is leading this signal is coming after channel A is coming after 90 degree then the channel B so we have 90 degree channel phase difference between A and B similarly the same procedure we will align positive peak and negative peak of both signals and we will find from zero line which point from zero line it is rising up that is this point in the center line of channel A now we will determine where is the signal position of channel B from zero line we will check what is the signal position of channel B so channel B if we see channel B is starting from here and its 90 degree peak is here 90 degree peak is here so it will cover approximately half 1 2 and half 3 squares from here half 1 2 and half this so it is covering in 3 3 squares and if we see 1 and half 1 and half so it is approximately 45 the center position of the signal channel B is reaching 45 degree before channel A so we have 45 degree phase difference between channel A and channel B 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so this is the zero line center line this signal is starting from here 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and 0 degree we will select this reference point and we will draw this line to the lower side this signal is now starting from 0 what is the signal position of channel B so it is 1 2 3 4 this is the center line 
now we can say this channel is starting from here it is our reference we will compare the second signal with this zero point so this signal is now in the negative peak so 0 degree 90 180 270 when this signal is at 0 degree so it is at 270 degree so we can say channel B channel A or channel 1 channel 2 so channel B signal is reaching 270 degree before channel A it is 0 degree and it is at 270 degree so we can say it is 270 degree phase difference or minus 90 degree phase difference 270 degree or minus 90 degree then we have two signals here we can align it here this signal 1 2 3 4 so this is the first signal zero line and the second signal 1 1 2 3 4 so we have two different signals here the first signal that is 0 degree now we will draw this signal to the lower side and we will see the reference line the zero line of second signal this reference line is for first signal because four squares four grids are downside and four grids are upside so it is its center line and this line is center line for the second signal so we will check now this signal and this signal this signal is starting from this point to upside and this is same, same time it is starting upside the same time so we have the same phase so it is in phase so these both signals are in phase why because it is starting from zero line to upside and it is starting from its zero line to upside so both signals are in phase i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh